Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In today's session, I am giving you some important tips that how to write paper for scoring good marks. See, while solving university exam paper or NSEM exam paper, you must know how to write paper, how to mention everything in your answer sheet. So, in this session, I am giving you some demo, some examples regarding this. You must follow this tip while solving the paper. Definitely, you will get a good marks in your exam. So, let's start the session. In this channel, you will get a complete point-wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. You can refer this question bank for your university exam purpose. And please like and share these videos with your friends so that might be useful for everyone and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming important points. Next. Now, while solving paper, the first and most important thing is read all the given instructions and questions accurately. Now, I am suggesting you when you will get your question paper, first tick all the questions that you are confident about that you know the answer of those questions accurately. So first tick all those type of question. Next, check how many marks are available, whether it is 4, 6 or 8 marks and according to that plan the time. The next important thing is don't skip any question. I am suggesting you, you can write whatever the information or whatever the content you know about particular topic. So write down in your answer sheet. Don't skip any question. Clear? So first follow this tip when you will get your question paper. Next. Now, the next important rule is choose easiest question first or that you feel confident about. See, for example, this is your question paper. Your question number one, under that question number one, there are total three questions like A, B, C. You need to solve any two question for four marks. Next question number two, under that question number two, there are total three questions A, B, C. You need to solve any two question for six marks and similarly question number three. So while reviewing this paper, you think about question number two, that you feel confident about question number two, that you are sure about you can solve question number two A and two B accurately. Means you will get five to six marks regarding a particular topic. So I am suggesting you first solve question number two. After that, go to question number one in this way. The reason behind this whoever the reviewer or paper checker they first check question number two and they feel confident about your paper means they know that you uh, you know the important points and you know the answer correctly so they will give you full marks in this question like five or six marks right and when they will move to question number one so again they check only important points or important words in your answer and they again give you three to four marks so basically this is a mindset of reviewer or paper checker means the first impression or first question is very much important while solving the question paper clear next now from this slide i am giving you some demo and some cases regarding this see what type of questions will be available in your exam see for example this kind of question is available like define a particular thing and explain it so how to solve this question first give the proper question number like question number 1a don't give incorrect question number that will lose lose your marks in your exam okay so always give the correct question number next define for example define machine learning so give the heading definition and topic name machine learning and after that mention the definition in paragraph format as per the book language don't mention definition in bullets or numbering format clear the next one is explain. So, while giving the explanation, always mention the heading explanation in this way. Then, write down the answer or write down the explanation in bullets or numbering format. Like 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way. Don't write answer in paragraph format. The three important points you need to remember. Always explain in bullets or numbering format and highlight all the important words means underline all the important words in your answer and next thing is write explanation or answer in your own language but by using technical terms the reason behind is when you highlight or underline important points in your answer so reviewer or paper checker 
they will only read those things and they will sure about your paper that you know the concept you know the answer so they will give you full marks right so that's why underline important points in your answer and while writing the particular answer in your own language always use technical terms okay means technical words that related to the particular topic clear so you can follow these tips while uh, that will definitely give you a good marks next the next case is if suppose the question number is explain a particular topic with neat diagram so always draw the diagram first so you can draw the diagram by using pencil only not a pen suppose just take this example this is a database structure diagram so draw the diagram by using pencil give approximate or appropriate names to each and every component and at the end also give the diagram name like database structure diagram in this way clear the next thing is explanation so give the explanation and explain a particular diagram as per the point suppose you need to explain the diagram component wise like first internal level give the heading internal level and explain 1 2 3 4 point then conceptual level again 1 2 3 4 in this way clear so while explanation again uh, mention all the numbers and bullets format underline important words and write in your own language clear next the next case is what is and explain types this kind of question will be available in your exam so what is for example what is machine learning so while solving the answer give the heading machine learning and mention their particular points and after that explain types so always give the heading types of topic name for example types of machine learning and under that type 1 their type 1 type name and again explain it 1 2 3 4 type 2 type name 1 2 3 4 in this way so definitely it will give you good marks the next case four is suppose the question is explain with examples this kind of question is there so first give the correct question number then give the heading explanation and under that explain a particular term like 1 2 3 4 in this way and highlight underline important words the next with examples so always give the heading examples and mention the examples 1 2 3 4 in this way clear next the next is case 5 the suppose in this kind type of question will be asked elaborate and mention advantages and disadvantages so elaborate means explain so first give correct question number and give the heading elaboration or topic name and elaborate it by using the bullets format or numbering format like 1 2 3 4 in this way next advantages and disadvantages so give the big heading advantages under that mention 1 2 3 4 then disadvantages and topic name 1 2 3 4 in this way clear next the next six cases write a program of this kind of question will be available in your exam for example write a program of bubble sort right so while solving this kind of question first mention correct question number after that mention aim or problem statement of the program like c program of bubble sort or c++ program of bubble sort so always give the aim or problem statement of the program first and after that write down the program so always write down the program sequence wise okay suppose there is a while loop so under that while loop you need to mention these three commands so always mention the these three commands at internal level okay and remaining program at the in particular sequence the next important thing is always mention the comments for each and every commands for example this is array declaration that is function so mention the comments for each and every uh, particular line so that will give you a definitely good marks in your exam next the next case is write an algorithm of with example so for this question first give the correct question number then give the heading algorithm and under that algorithm you need to write the algorithm in sequence format not a paragraph format okay and at the end examples give this heading and mention the example 1 2 3 4 or you need to solve the example to solve example as per the points clear next and last case is suppose they will ask list and explain this kind of question is there so list means you need to only list like 1 2 3 4 in this way for example 
list of machine learning types so give the first heading list of machine learning types and under that mention 1 2 3 4 in this way and next explain so give the heading explanation and explain it so for while explaining you must remember these three things always explain in numbering format underline important words and explain in your own language with technical terms clear next so definitely all these cases will give you good marks so please follow all these tips thank you all the best